Which one of these two services is a better fit for your business needs? Well, this is the part two of a previous video where we start a conversation about Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. My name is Carlos, and in this video, we will continue providing information that hopefully will help you make a better decision if you are planning to purchase Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace for your business. By the way, here is the part one of this video, in case you missed it. I do not intend comparing feature by feature of both services. Instead, I will try to give you key elements that I have learned when working with hundreds of Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace deployed for small and medium-sized businesses. Beside the email service with your domain name and the productivity tools that we review in part one, there are other tools that I think should be also part of the conversation. Let's now talk about the cloud storage. Microsoft 365 Cloud Storage is accessible using OneDrive and SharePoint. Users get one terabyte that is shared between both tools, SharePoint and OneDrive. However, this number changes when you have five licenses or more. You can think about OneDrive as an individual storage for every user. Something like your local hard drive but in the cloud. SharePoint is a shared storage for teams or for the whole company. It is like the old traditional network drive or a storage that everyone in your business can access. SharePoint offers many capabilities from the administration and organization point of view. It provides flexibility and control over the information that is stored. On the other hand, Google Workspace offers an individual cloud storage called Google Drive or Just Drive. It is similar to OneDrive in terms of functionalities. Google Workspace does not offer a storage like SharePoint. However, users can share their files and folders in a similar way as users can do with OneDrive. I would say that if your business needs a more granular control over the information that is stored in the cloud, then I think Microsoft 365 could be a better fit for your business. In general, we can say that you get one terabyte per user in Microsoft 365 and 30 gigabytes, two terabyte or five terabyte per user with Google Workspace. Of course, depending on the type of license that you have. From the collaboration point of view, and when users are working in the same file, or document in the cloud, I think Google Workspace offers a better experience. For example, when a user is editing a document, other users can see the changes happening in almost in real time. With Microsoft 365, you may experience some delays using this same example. Another capability that we should talk about is voice and video call. Both services, Google Workspace and Microsoft 365, offer voice and video call, as well as conference call. Google Workspace voice and video calls takes place with a tool called Google Meet. Here, I have a video that shows you how it works. The experience could be very similar to what Microsoft 365 offers. However, Microsoft 365 has a different approach to access voice and video call. Microsoft 365 has a tool called Microsoft Teams, which allows your business to be organized by groups, teams, projects, or any other type of organization. Here in Microsoft Teams is where all the conversation takes place. It includes voice, video, and chat as well. Users are able to access, use, and share all the Microsoft tools within Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams and SharePoint will probably require a whole video to talk about each of them. Before jumping to the next subject, and before I forget, I need to talk about Google Search tool within Google Workspace. When you realize how much time you spend and how often you need to search for something within your files, emails, calendar, or any piece of data, then you will value the benefits of having this tool. Just imagine having the Google Search tool to find what you need within your own data. Now, in terms of security, both services, 
have a very strong set of security features, like for example, anti-spam, antivirus, multi-factor authentication, retention policies, data protection, etc. On one hand, Google Workspace could be easier to configure or set up. It probably offers a more simplified set of security tools. On the other hand, Microsoft 365 provides more capabilities and features that can be adjusted or configured to satisfy the specific needs for your organization. These type of capabilities come with the cost of the required expertise that you or someone you hire needs to configure them. It is possible that for very regulated industries like health, financial institutions, or law firms, for example, Microsoft 365 could offer a more suitable service. This subject brings me to the last point of discussion in this video. It refers to the necessary training that users may need to take full advantage of all the tools. In my opinion, Google Workspace is much more simple to use. Users may need less training to start using it. Microsoft 365 probably requires more time and training if you want to use tools like SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. But at the same time, you also need to consider how comfortable are your users if they are already using the Microsoft Office suite. As we can see, the decision is not very clear in many cases. There are many variables that you have to consider, but I hope we have covered some of the key tools and features that will help you make a better decision. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easily again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. As you may know, it helps me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.